And welcome back to our Halloween show. And we are pleased to show you our first dream house to the rescue story. Our homeowner is Linda St. Loy, a mother of three daughters with a closet problem. Now we brought in a member of our dream team, personal organizer Sarah Bockwalter of Organizing Boston to help. So tell me a little bit about your about your closets. Um, as we're getting ready to go back to school, I have three daughters, a 15-year-old and a 12-year-old and a 5-year-old. And the closet that they use for their school supplies and their after-school activities is right off of the garage. Seemed like it worked okay last year, but now that they're, they're getting older, they have different needs. And it's pretty much a disaster area. So you need a place to store all their activity stuff as well as their school book bags, their lunch bags, their coats, everything else. Yeah, exactly, so they have one spot to put their things when they get home, one spot to take their stuff from when they're getting ready for school in the morning keep them organized so they're going to have a successful year in school. And we need a smaller size for the kindergartner so she can reach everything herself. Yeah, too. she's not only a kindergartner, she's a petite kindergartner, but she, um, she wants to keep up with the big kids. So what we're going to do is take a look at your closets today and see which one would work best for that. And we'll set up a system so that each of the girls can have a space to put away all their stuff and retrieve it. So basically this is too little space for the amount of stuff that your kids need on a day-to-day -day basis. Absolutely, it's a good sized closet but um, the space isn't all accessible to the kids and it's really um, difficult for them to reach up and uh, hang up their coats. It's not um, easy to put things away. This is the second closet option. This is right in the front hall, off of the front door, and also right off of the kitchen. And um, right now, we use it for um, grown-up coats. Um, my husband and I put our coats in here and our briefcases. I have some photographs stored in here. But as you can see, there's really a, a lot of wasted space. So I'm not sure if this will lend itself a little bit better to helping to organize the kids. I think it would be a good option because you have a lot more space in here and the adult coats can go elsewhere as well as the photos, they can be stored in a, a closet with shelves in it. I think we should take the front hall closet and use that for the children's closet because it's the largest closet. Um, it's gonna give them the most space as they grow, as they expand, maybe their activities, it'll leave room for more stuff. Um, the other closets we can use for storage. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a vertical space to put some shelving in there so that your daughters can store their off-season stuff. In the summer, they can put all their winter gloves and hats and bins up on the top. In the winter, they can put them back down in these drawers. But set up a lower rod available for your five-year-old so that she can easily reach it herself. She's gonna have a low hook for all her stuff to put down there, her jacket, her backpack. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, great. Okay, well we've got the closet cleaned out and we've installed some of the Alpha System shelving in here. Um, we've installed two shelves up here for more long-term storage, off-season clothes, that kind of thing. Um, basically, it was very easy to install. There's just one bracket up the top that we screwed into the wall, and these brackets hang down. The shelves go right on them. It's pretty straightforward. The next step we're going to do is install the lower shelf for the youngest daughter, and um, we'll get started. Okay, I've got three of these dry erase boards. There's also, they're also magnets, so the girls can write their activities on them. They can also use magnets to hold the, um, any kind of notices or anything, reminders, schedules, calendars. And they're gonna go right on the closet door. Now I've got three canvas baskets, one for each girl. And in these, we're gonna put their activity stuff. One does dance, one rides horses, one plays soccer. So there's enough space in there that they can put all the stuff related to that activity and they can just pull it down when they need it and put it away. Okay, so this is Emily's. We put it over here on her side. Katie's goes right in the middle. And then two for Nicole, they go down here so she can reach them, put them away herself. Okay, Linda, well, these drawers down here are gonna be for shoes and accessories such as hats and gloves and that kind of thing. So we're gonna put the shoes in the bottom one and you can fit several pairs in here. They're nice deep drawers. 
and then the hats can go up top. So these color-coded baskets are going to use um, to hold school supplies, cell phones, iPods, whatever kind of stuff they need to put aside. Okay, now we're all done, so tell me what you think. I was surprised actually at how quickly everything went in and how um, easy it was to put it together. I was also surprised at the flexibility that it's going to offer us. I think it's definitely going to be easy for them to put their stuff where it needs to be. And if it's easy, hopefully they're going to, they're going to do it. Well, that's great. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The number for organizing Boston is 617-699-1263. The website is organizingboston.com. Now, we certainly could not have done this project without the Container Store, which donated all these goods. Their website is containerstore.com, and they have stores in Natick and Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. And joining us is homeowner Linda St. Laurent. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So, how's the closet? It's neat, it's organized, and I'm not tripping over anybody's junk in the hallway, so I think it's a success. You know, that closet was a little scary. And I can only say that <laughs> as one with scary closets. Yeah, it was a little scary, and it was a closet that we just closed the door on and ignored for as long as we could. So having the opportunity to participate in this project kind of jump-started us. And you know, you're right. That's exactly what closets are mostly for. You throw something in, and you shut the door and, and hope uh, nobody sees what's in there. So how are the girls uh, like in the closets? I think they like the fact that when they need something, they know where it goes and where to go to find it. It makes life a little bit less stressful. <laughs> it's nice. Seems like a full life and a full house. Yeah, we but have a busy Horseback family. riding, soccer, and ballet, you said? Absolutely. Right. And you've been inspired you to do a few more closets, too, perhaps? It, it absolutely. It kind of was the jump start to finish the closets on the first floor and uh, take some ideas that I had and, and kind of I'm put them into action. Glad it's working out. Nice to meet you, Linda. It was great to meet you, too. Thank you very much. Now, if you have a modest one-day project, give us an email. The address is dreamhouse at necn.com.